Healthy sexual encounters are very important for mental health. Agar you feel sad or maybe even irritated after consensual sex, you may have a condition referred to as postcoital dysphoria or PCD. It's called post-sex blues. Bhi kaha jata hai. This happens when you feel a range of negative feelings after wanted sexual activity. You can feel emotions including sadness, irritability, agitation, anxiety and depression after sex with a partner. Science says that usually consensual sex uplifts the mood because it releases dopamine release hota hai, or serotonin increase hota hai, which prevents depression. Postcoital dysphoria occurs more in women than men. Most studies have focused on a condition in females. Symptoms of PCD can happen after completed consensual sex. Physical pleasure or orgasm ke baad bhi ye ho sakta hai. Symptoms of PCD in women include tearfulness, sadness, anxiety and depression, irritability, feeling unsatisfied. Although there is not a lot of research, recent studies show that PCD is a common experience for men too. In one study, 41% of men reportedly experienced PCD at least once in their life. 3% men had PCD regularly. Regardless of the cause, postcoital depression is a term only used to describe negative feelings after consensual, enjoyable sex. It does not refer to assault or forced sexual activity. Causes of postcoital dysphoria There's not a lot of research that specifies an underlying cause for PCD. However, scientists believe that multiple factors lead to these feelings. Abuse If you have a history of childhood sexual abuse of any kind, it might make you more at risk for PCD. Physical and emotional abuse may also put you at risk for postcoital dysphoria later in life. Anxiety. These childhood traumas might also call anxiety and depression. These mental health conditions can be linked to feelings of sadness or cause behavioral problems. Resentment. If you have a history of abuse, you may be more resentful about sex or sexual experiences. You may feel like you don't have complete control over these encounters, which can cause anxiety. You can also feel like you need to assert your wants and needs, which can make you irritable. It could also be related to hormones that are involved in love and attachment. During sex, your hormonal, physiological and emotional processes are peaking. You're experiencing an unbelievable level of stimulation, physical and otherwise. Then, suddenly, it all stops and your body and mind need to return to baseline. It's this physiological drop that can bring about a subjective sense of dysphoria. Sex ke baare mein aapki soch. Kuch logo ko bachman se hi hai sikhaya jata hai. Especially in India, ki the sex is a bad thing or should only be done for procreation, wo bhi shadi ke baad. Is wajay se, some people feel guilty subconsciously ya consciously while having sex. And this surfaces as PCD. Negative communication after sex can also be a trigger. If it is not a relationship and just a hookup, the chances of post-coital blues are higher to not mandatory. Usually, this is because you are unsure about your connection with your sexual partner. Pornography ho ya TV or movie scenes, people getting intimate are shown as having perfect bodies. This can be a big deterrent in healthy sex. It can be hard to forget about body image issues you may have. If you feel embarrassed or ashamed about how you look, it could trigger symptoms of PCD, sadness or depression. Despite the misconception, postcoital dysphoria is not caused by a lack of intimacy or determined how close your relationship is. You may be in a healthy, intimate relationship, but still feel sad or anxious and depressed after sex. You can ask yourself these questions to figure out why you may be experiencing postcoital dysphoria. Was there something specific that my partner did to trigger my feelings of depression? What is it that I feel depressed about? Did I relive an abusive or traumatic event? Does this happen a lot? You can share your feelings with your doctor. You can also see a psychotherapist to treat the underlying cause of PCD. With cognitive behavioral therapy, they can help you overcome these feelings and traumas. Sex can put you in a vulnerable position. When you have underlying anxieties or concerns, these feelings may be more likely to surface after sex. A therapist can help you work through these feelings. It's okay to talk to your partner about these feelings. If you're in a safe, intimate relationship, you should feel comfortable bringing up your feelings. Having an open conversation but also help you work through these feelings of sadness after sex. And if you are the partner of someone experiencing postcoital blues, here's how you can help. If you notice that your partner is feeling depressed after sex, the first and absolutely best thing you can do is to take stock of their needs. 
Ask them if they want to talk about it. If they do, listen. Try not to judge or give snap solutions. Kabhi kabhi koi hamari baat sun le, yehi kafi hota hai. Ask if there's something you can do to help console them. Some people like to be held when they're feeling sad. Others just want someone to be nearby. If they don't want to talk about it, try not to take offense. They might not be ready to open up about what's bothering them. If they ask for space, give it to them. And again, try not to be hurt that they don't want you there. Mind over matter ka agar ye episode aapko acha laga, to please is video ko like aur share kare aur hamari YouTube channel ko subscribe kare. Hame hamari social media handles pe bhi follow. Thank you.